Safety, security, community, heritage. Perhaps no other company in New Haven's manufacturing history more strongly embodies these four traits. Founded by Joseph Sargent and his brothers in 1810, the company that became synonymous with peace of mind began as a wholesale hardware company in New York City and shortly after moved into manufacturing in Connecticut. I plan to develop not only a large and important business, but progressive ideas in factory methods and a personal sense of civic consciousness as well," said Sargent, and boy did he deliver. Moving their operation to New Haven in 1864, the company ramped up production. By 1914, they were one of the largest hardware manufacturers in the country. During World Wars I and II, much of the plant's production capacity was converted from hardware manufacturing to the production of items needed for the war effort. As men went off to fight the wars, women began staffing factories like Sargent in greater numbers as a means of helping with the war effort and to help support their families. By the time World War II ended, nearly 40% of Sargent's jobs were held by women. Community was key to Sargent. Throughout their history, there are stories of the close bonds between the workers, the owners, factory managers, and the citizens of New Haven. The post-war era for Sargent was marked by an effort to narrow the company's product offerings. Always known as a high-quality manufacturer of locks and door-related mechanisms, the decision was reached by the Sargent family to concentrate more on that niche. This focus gave rise to the development of many lock-related engineering firsts, like the development of the Sargent Kiso security system. This product, still in strong demand today, 50 years later, marked the first improvement in pin tumbler lock construction in more than 100 years. The Kiso system was designed to have 12 pins coming in at three sides of the key, compared to conventional six pins coming in from only the top. The design made it pick and drill resistant. The technology also made a much stronger key. Keys and cylinders were registered, making it harder to duplicate without authorized permission. The company had conquered the security industry. In 1972, the family sold Sargent to Walker Kidd and Company. In 1994, Asa Abloy, the Swedish security company that is the largest global seller of locks and the leader of indoor opening solutions, purchased Sargent to round out their offerings. In 1810, Joseph Sargent promised to make a better lock improve factory processes, and be a leader in the community. More than 200 years later, his vision resonates every time a dad or mom tuck their children into bed, Good night. turn the bolt of a sergeant lock in the front door, and turn out the lights.